Hello, my friends, I'm your Cheese Kaiser, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play the Old Gods of Crusader Kings 2. In our little Britannia um, adventure to take over the known world as the Norse reformed pagans this time. Uh, what we got going is, again, some little fights, little skirmishes around here. I'm still trying to kill off these uh, Pope's invasion, their little, um, pretty much their crusade. I could probably get a white piece right now, and we would gain 200 piety and 100 prestige. But if I enforced my demands, um, I would also get, like, incredible amounts of more authority, which means, you know, uh, these Catholic nations would have a whole bunch of uprisings and stuff. And we got a few minor uh, battles over here that we need to take care of, too. Uh, let's just look at who we're fighting. We're fighting these guys. Are we really fighting those guys? Or are they just... Okay. Are they... They're... We're not... Yeah, we're not fighting these guys. They're just defending. So we'll move you up here into Pinsk. And take your stuff. Am I fighting you? No, I'm not fighting you either. I just really want to uh, kill the ones that I'm actually fighting against. So we'll move you around here. Um, also, on we... Uh, we on blah, blah, blah. When we weren't playing, we... Uh, or I, rather. I ransomed off a whole bunch of prisoners. I put one of them into uh, special characters. Why is he a special I don't know. Oh, because he has a claim on the Jarldom of Eland. Right. Whatever. Um, and you... Yeah, her. Because she is worth about... How much gold? A lot of gold. But her liege is... She's worth like 46 gold and her liege is... Considering ransom offer already uh, which means that later we absolutely are going to have to hold a great blot actually can we still hold a great blot now that we're, we're reformed I don't know if that's the case the Knights of Santiago Catholic Church and uh, oh that that reminds me I do now have the um the but what's it called the Sons of Abraham DLC I just got it today uh, I don't think it would change much for the Norse. I'm not sure. Let, let's look at religion, see if it changes. I don't think it changes anything for the Norse. I think it's just, uh... Oh, where is this? Holy side. Breshwig? It, eh, whatever. Um, I think it's just random. Or, it doesn't do anything for the Norse. It's just makes the Jews in Kazaria. Well, he's Orthodox, I guess. But, you know, if I started a new game, they'd be Jewish. Um, it makes, you know, the Pope, um, he's the heir to the papacy, he's probably the, uh, he must be, what, what do you call it, the preferati? Yeah, that's, that's it, the preferati. Uh, oh, and we have a, we're one over our domain limit, so let's find men, not religion, not, or my, of my, re, re, blah, 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 of my religion, not a ruler, married, I don't care, let's see. See a good one. Um, you're 50. My problem is most of, the, most of these guys are old as hell. Here you can have what title? Northampton? No. Ostfriesland? Shayland? Trondelag? I have really random holdings. I've noticed Just very random ones. Where is Trondelag? I have no idea where Trondlag is, but, um, hmm. Oh, it's up there. Okay, I guess we'll keep that. And mm, let's just give him Ostfriesland. Off That's probably what we're going to do. And why are you up there? Just go away. Um, oh, and also you two, I guess you can come down here, or you can probably disband. I don't really care. Uh, either way, our vassal levies have been raised for way too long way too long and they're not too happy about it but I don't really care about them do we uh, we still got some wars to fight and they can't I'm just going to ignore them until they go away basically um, okay a bunch of people Knights of Calatrava okay these are just a whole bunch of holy orders oh my god you made it is all sorts of fucks Okay, well, that's fine. I don't really care. I would prefer them to be, you know, somewhat unified so I could 
kill them more easily, but, you know, if they're not, it doesn't really matter. Uh, who is in this war? Just a whole bunch of nobodies. You know what? Uh, forget moral authority. I already have 100% moral authority anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. I don't know how much really they have, but I'm tired of this war, so I'm just gonna offer you a white piece. And so you abandon it. I'm not really interested in continuing it. There's really no purpose to it. Okay. Oh, uh, that was, I believe, the liege of you, so... No, three, two, one, come on, and zero. Right. Ransom her for 46 gold. Good stuff. And now we can take her off of our special interest. Okay. Oh, we're only going at speed two. Let's go at speed three. We gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. And now, when this war is over, I don't really know what I'm going to do. Uh, who I'm going to attack. We can check out who we can attack, you know, but, mm, I don't know. Go to. Okay, so you won that siege. Nice. Uh, assault holding, because there's only 17 men there. Assault the holding again, because there's only... Oh, uh, we're not actually fighting you. Shoot. Who are we actually fighting? We are fighting the Duchy of Greater Poland, the Duchy of... Mazova. Okay, so we're fighting these. This guy. They have the same. Oh, okay. I guess they're looking a different way. So we're fighting you, and we're fighting you. We are fighting the duchy. Uh, okay, we're fighting you. You, 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 and you. Yeah, you. Okay, so you guys can stop out here, or just send them that way. Just go that way. Right? Just go. Go! Um, right. Let's go into there. Or let's go fight you guys. Yeah, let's fight you. Fight their army, take their army out, and that will probably speed up things a little bit. Uh, ooh, okay. We'll drop our army down into there and give you guys a decent martial leader. Because, I don't know, Newt, maybe? Yeah, Newt is fine. I don't really care that much because we overpower them by so great numbers. Uh, that's uh, really bad for our morale, but it's not going to be too bad because we're going to kill them pretty quickly. And we just have to finish off these armies, and I'm going to siege that. Yeah, we want to siege that. We won the battle. Uh, now we have 48% war score already. That's pretty good. 4, 3, assault. Um, 2, 1, assault. And this will, this will get our war score up a ton, just like, really quickly. I'm not even noticing these things, so, whatever, I don't care. Um, yeah. What after, what are we gonna do after this? I don't know what truces we still have is the problem. I have no idea what truces we still have. Probably, you know, just your standard, everyone that I just attacked. Maybe a lot of the Catholics. Maybe not all of the Catholics, though. Uh, I, actually, I think, in fact, not all of the Catholics. I think we actually got most of those to go our way. Oh, and we got three counties from this, which is solid. Really solid. I do want to figure out, though, which counties I actually want to hold, because right now I'm holding a lot of random ones, because I was going to do that whole plan where I give my kingdoms to my sons, but eh, eh, no, I don't want to anymore. I determined that was probably a bad idea. I mean, the idea was probably fine. I just don't want to do the hassle. Oh, uh, where did all of these... The mint's too big. Wrong type of holding. Oh, we got this one too? Oh, okay. I didn't even see that one. Okay, there we go. And now, prop one, two, three, four to give away. Good stuff. Uh, let's just... Find some nice characters to give them to. Everyone's still Old Norse, which is kind of annoying. Don't be Old Norse anymore. Be New Norse. Be Good no Norse. Uh, let's give you... Lebus. Lebus. I don't know. Let's find a good marshal. 
Uh, let's give... Okay, you're you're solid. Let's give you Posen. Um, let's give you... I don't know. Let's give you a good one, because you're another solid one. You have quick. That's a good uh, genes to have in my land. And let's give you some land. Don't ask me how I just pick them out, because I don't know. I just, I look for, you know, high marshal is important, because you get more vassal levies. Um, I didn't realize that until recently, uh, so yeah. High stewardship is also important because you get more tax. Um, tax. I don't know where I can see the tax. It's probably not there because, yeah. Um, high diplomacy is not that important. High intrigue isn't that important. High learning isn't that important. I don't know. I like martial and, um, stewardship, basically. And we won that war. Offer peace. So we only have... Two more wars left to go with the Plucks and the Kajaways. And wow, that's a shitty little holding there. Ooh, you have nice stats. Grant you land the title. And Yatavajiji. Yatavajiji! You get it. You get it good, son. Um, you're chasing after me, which is kinda silly. I don't know why you would even bother, but hey. I guess, do what you want to do. Okay, we're about to win all these wars. Um, who to go with, to war with next? Probably Francia, Aquitaine. Uh, who do I have truces with? That's not me. Um, looks like... Duke Lothar the Wild. Uh, looks like mostly just these guys, so we could probably go to war. Oh, no, I remember what I said. I was going to try to install the people I wanted to in Denmark because he is dead he is two years old he has a regent and we can press weak claims for our maybe no we can invite to court you I can't press claims for can't press your claims. Um, how do I invite you to court? Oh, okay, no, if I press someone else's claims on Jilin, they would come to my court, right? That's correct, right? Uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Press someone else's claims on Jiland, Um, and then they'll go to... What? I don't know. And they'll come, they'll lose Yeland, come to my court, and then once they're in my court, I can press their weak claims. I think that's how it's going to go. Um, let's select this army, split, or no, let's merge these two, and then split in half and send you guys over here to help these seizures out a little bit. Uh, excellent! Norse Faith and Posen, wherever Posen is. I have no idea, because I don't keep track of stuff like that. Someone was born. Uh, someone got some loot. That's something I never did as this uh, character. I never really looted much. Which, you know, whatever. Uh, I probably could pretty easily with my retinues, but I didn't, so who cares. And we're going to win these wars uh, awfully quickly. You're still not in an uh, enforced demand state, but you will be soon. You will be. Uh, let this child rot. Uh, ransom. No, let it rot. Okay. I have way too many prisoners in my prison, basically, is the problem. I can't keep track of everyone. Once I win that battle, I'll probably uh, have 100% war score. We're crossing a major river to do it, but it doesn't really matter that much in this situation because we outnumber them by so much that it doesn't. They, they have no ch shot at all. 100% war score, there we go. 100% um, offer peace and force demands. And then we will disband. Okay, and these are... What are these? Are these retinues? 
new unit. Let's uh, reorganize. Yeah, these are all just retinues, so they're fine. They can loot, I guess. How much loot can they get? Uh, not much gold, really. Uh, it's not worth it at this point. It, it could be worth it if I really wanted to micromanage, but mm, I'm so large, like, it doesn't... I don't care at all. Uh, let's give you some vassals. Vassals for you. Let's just create... I wish you could randomly just create a vassal for these, because... The whole find people, give them land is kind of annoying. Oh, you got really high marshal. Your proud Roth. You have some good... Oh, no, you don't have any combat modifiers? What about you? Yeah, you have some combat modifiers. But you're 56. You have some good stats. Here, have... Well, you have a child. Who's your wife? Well, you have a child, but no wife. Um... That's weird. Uh, Grant land the title, Kujawe. Send, let's look for a good steward. You're a good steward. Grant land the title. Sh Shirots. And we're gonna kill this army too. I think we're gonna... Ah, oh, we're not gonna catch up with them. That sucks. I guess chase them down. Can we get there? 8th of March, 5th of March. Yeah, we're gonna win this. And crush their armies! Destroy them! Destroy them, okay. Uh, two, one. Alright, so after we get done with this, I'm probably just gonna do a little planning for the next, and then we're gonna be done with the episode, maybe? Uh, let's disband these fleets. Let's disband these fleets, too. Ah, uh, come on, just surrender, man. You have, like, no war score left. 90, really? Really. 98 war score. You're just not going to surrender at all. Oh, we didn't actually have any, uh... Okay. That's cool. Disband. Oh, who are these guys? These guys are up here. I forgot all about them. Just disband. Uh, we want to do some things that are... Are, um... We don't need our vassal levies for. For a while. Because they kind of really hate us. Like, a lot. They really hate us. Um, yeah. They hate us. So we want to... Uh, of course, they love us in any case. They uh, don't like that we've raised their levies for so long, but, you know. We have technology. I'm kind, genius, diligent. I have high prestige. Um, I have no negative opinion modifiers, which is nice. Uh, this is our son who's going to take over after I die. Um... He's alright. He is alright. Um, our other son died. Uh, our siblings... Mostly dead. He's gonna have Scotland eventually. Probably, maybe. I don't know. If I want to. I might give him Scotland just to be a nice dude. Just to keep things simple. Except trying to keep things simple would be not keeping them simple. Okay. And 100% war score. Offer peace and force demands. You lose, bitch. And let's just, uh, disband. And dismiss. Okay, we can't dismiss. So we have... We're still gonna have... I have much less vassal fleets. Than I had. Much less vassal fleets. And only 12... Holy crap. This must be the new rebalancing, um taking effect. You can't raise your vassal arm. You can't have very many vassal armies. At all. Uh, cause look at all the land we own. 12,000 vassal armies. I have as many retinues as I have vassal armies. That's really kind of stupid. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. It's, it's a weird balance. It's a really really strange balance. I know you're supposed to... It's meant to stop blobbing. Like, people who just get out of control big, but it's really odd. Like, having all this land and only being able to raise 12,000... Oh, wow! Aquitaine! Holy cow! You, uh, stopped being West Francia? Um... 
king of Italy, king of Burgundy, heir to the kingdom of East Francia, heir to the kingdom of Aquitaine, heir to the kingdom of West... Holy shit! That's scary. Um... That's really scary. I want to murder this kid. I can't murder this kid. Uh, because if this guy dies, and let's see how... Yeah, that's a very high plot power to murder him. This little dude is going to get all of this. And East France. I mean, East France is not whatever, but... Holy shit, you need a son. Um, is there any way we can uh, get you a son? Because right now... You are in a precarious position, and Italy could be a power that can contend with me at this point. I mean, not at this point, but if they get that, that's scary. Oh dear. Clock. Uh, you sure? Grimier. Okay, so because of all this, I think I might want to start making duchies I don't know if duchies would give me more military or not um, I have no idea let's let's get some cheap retinue so just so I have a lot so they'll help out with um oh nope that's all retinue troops okay so we have you know uh, 15 three thousand ten thousand we're going to have a lot of retinues. Yeah, we have more retinues than we have vassal armies. And let's just look at who we can attack. De jure kingdoms. Or no. Diplomatic relations. We can attack, well, pretty much everyone. Uh, we have truces with... I wish there was a way to show truces. Because right now I can't see them. Okay. Well, we were going to... Um, Declare war for weak claim of Yarldom of Yeland. Claim Yeland, this chick. Um, sure. Um, let's do it for her. Her husband is my vassal, which would mean I would inherit Yeland. Right? Because her child won't be of her dynasty. Yeah, we would inherit Yeland in that situation. What about the other one? You. Your husband is just some random dude. Okay. So, we want to do that. We want to... Claim Yeland. Clear war. Will that take a... Um, are we allies with him? We gained... Okay. Okay. Alright, yeah, that's what we'll do. We will declare war, and then we'll try and get Yeland. Uh, because right now, Aquitaine is stupid powerful. Not really stupid power. They only have 6,000 troops, but they could probably raise up a lot, um, just at the drop of the hat. And we can only, uh, they're, they're kind of unified, so we could only gain, uh, we can't do a great holy war yet. We can only gain, um, small one-off duchies at a time. Uh, well, they're pretty du decent duchies. Anjou, Orléans, Champagne. They're decent duchies, but we don't really want to do that. Alright, so, um, yeah, next episode we will declare war for this bitch's claim on Denmark. Or, or this, uh, duchy, rather. This guy will become unlanded, and I think... Return to my court... think and yes his I, I think he'll return to my court and then we can what press his claim on the kingdom of Denmark yeah that's what we'll do except we'll have a truce timer with you um so that sucks maybe we could kill him yeah we'll be able to kill him okay that's what we'll do we'll press his, press his claim he'll come to my court we'll kill the guy in Denmark and then we will fight again. Um, so yeah, that's good. That's it. Uh, so thanks for watching. That'll be the end of this episode. I'll just send them up here. 
uh, once we rally here, we'll declare that war. And yeah, okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to get my videos in your feed. If you want to follow me on Twitter, do that. And uh, that'll be it. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you on the next episode. Goodbye.